It's six o'clock on Friday, the 17th of January, 2020. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Christopher, bringing you the only update of the local Albanian news translated into English. The Speaker of Parliament, Gramuz Ruci, toughened tones on critical countries, which voiced reservations in opening EU integration negotiations with countries in the region. He says Europe is beautiful to live in, but still remains a continent of asymmetries and prejudices. Our region is a European region, even though it is considered by some European leaders as a black sheep, and it is still an added value to the European family. The Western Balkans is at the intersection of the influences of Western and non-Western civilization. The attitudes of these skeptical countries and their imposition on the European Council naturally paved the way for non-Western influences, Gramos Rucci said. In the same line was the head of the SP parliamentary group, during a co conference of parliamentary committees on European integration, Bala said the union must keep its promises. No one should be satisfied with the status quo, which is dangerous for our case, Luigi Sareca emphasized, the, tax, uh, the tasks that the EU aspiring countries must fulfill. There is much homework to do. The government must work hard to implement reforms, especially in the fight against organized crime, corruption, and the rule of law. It is a process that requires political will, as you as parliamentarians have a vital role to play. Ambassador Soreka announced that EP President David Sassoli will, take to, will visit Tirana at the beginning of February. The Minister of Justice suspends the director of the probation service in Kruja after the release of lifelong prisoner Endri Dokle, recognized as a former member in the Gang of Duras. Also in a press release, the Minister of Justice calls the decision the, uh, of Judge Enkele de Hoja to release Dokle scandalous. The minister said he had forwarded information during the suspicious release as a prisoner for life, a scandalous act of release for the judgment of life imprisonment, which has recently, uh, which ha happened recently, is an alarmed bell. We, I feel sad that even though I have addressed a concern at the beginning of the trial, based on the suspicion of impartiality of this judgment, seeking verification of this process. Our concern for Enkele de Hoja has been addressed since the release of Gens Tafili from the same judge. A few days ago, it was learned that the, the court of first instance of Kuruya accepted Dokle's request to release him on probation, putting him on probation for a period of five years. Defense lawyers had sought the release of the convict by converting the sentence to life in prison to 25 years with the claim that he had served most of the sentence. The Ministry of Interior and the State Police are holding a roundtable to present a situation analysis and some proposals for changes to the road code as part of measures to increase road safety. We have a lot of people killed on the streets of the country and that number should be reduced. The number of accidents and injuries and material damages should also be reduced, said Minister Leshai. Therefore, a comprehensive package of measures is being developed with the aim of making significant interference with the road code. Interior Minister proposes that the time has come to implement the idiot test that is being appealed in Germany. In just one week, 371 driving license has been removed as there is still some kind of unacceptable driving behavior. Aggressive behavior on the streets is evident. We still have road users who do not deserve their driving license. At this time, the time has come to think of psychological tests for drivers that verify psychological stability. In Germany, it is called the idiot test. It is also proposed that each leader has his or own bi biographical file created for this instance. State police provide the details of the operation codenamed Brokers to crack down on a criminal organization involved in international drug and weapons trafficking. The operation lasting four years was finalized today, this morning in Albania and Italy. Meanwhile, in Skodra, a 50-year-old man was arrested but with the initials of LD. Investigations into the operation began after the January 15th killing of Italian national Francesco Ferrante in Trani. Or a news through its Rome-based journalist Alba Kepi first published details of this anti-drug operation, as well as the videos of the operation. As a result of this operation, an Italian Albanian criminal organization dealing with international drug trafficking, heroin, cocaine, and weapons was hit in the area of the cities of Andria and Cerigonolia. The person who controlled and organized the drug trafficking from the Netherlands, Germany, and Albania was an Albanian citizen who, through his acquaintances, provided the organization with cocaine, heroin, and hashish. The amount of drugs came through couriers who would normally usually hide in double compartments and cars, the police said. 
This organization had its headquarters in the city of Foggia. As a result of joint investigations between the Italian police and the state police, they arrested 20 people and seized 440 kilograms of various drugs, such as cocaine, heroin, and hashash, as well as several firearms. The operation in Albania was conducted in close cooperation with the criminal police department, OGC Interpol Tirana, and UCI Albania. While in Italy, the leader of the gang was led by the operations team of the anti-drug section in cooperation with Trans Police Station. A group of 38 Kurdish refugee men from Iran and Iraq realized they were in Albania once they fell into police custody. Their destination was Serbia, after which they targeted the European Union countries. We came from Greece. We intended to go to Serbia, but obviously this isn't Serbia, said one Kurd. According to the data, they had been in our country for two days on the green border near Chafbotan. They had then traveled to the streets not to be seen by the police, but they were once discovered again. Clandestine migrants have found a new path in trying to cross Al Albania through the EU countries ever since the clandestine flows began. The gateway for immigrants have been De Korcha and Devoli, where Frontex forces are also on patrol. But it seems the harsh winter on the side is pushing immigrants to find new routes. The clandestine were taken from Lora police, where after receiving evidence, they will be taken to the asylum reception center in Tirana. Those escaping the police nets continue on towards Montenegro or Serbia, further targeting Croatia as the first EU country to seek asylum. And finally, the promises of the Albanian government have been numerous, but in reality, little has been done. The role of the Albanian state and our compatriots living in Montenegro has not been felt, and they are dissatisfied with the current situation in Tirana. Montenegrin Minister for Rights and Minorities Mehmet Zenka says the time has come to put an end to courtesy visits and to move on to concrete action. Whenever we meet, we ask for something they promise, and it's the rescale is zero. It is time for the Albanian state to sit down with the Montenegrin state and determine some medium-term requirements. We need medium-term and long-term solutions. Medium-term and long-term policies are the ones to be seen by emergency. At this point, Minister Zeka mentions two of them. Representation of Albanians on the basis of proportionality and decentralization in Montenegro. There is also another point of view in this reading of the relationship between the two states, the Albanian official Milo Djukanovic party DPS Nikol Gegai. He qualifies them to be exemplary. We cannot say it is the ideal, but it has significantly improved compared to previous years. The year we have started is an election year in Montenegro where Albanians from one MP hope that their representation in the new assembly will be at least two or three lawmakers. But to achieve this objective, political forces must first find the language of cooperation as the risk that has characterized them all these years has been the contrary. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for tuning in to our English edition of Aura News. Uh, please tune in every Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.